Hey, hi, hello. It's me, Boo Boo the Fool, and it's time to head to Clown Town. At this point, Amazon doesn't really need an introduction. It's the one-stop shop for those of us who like the indoors. And obviously, most of you are familiar with this point that Amazon has recommended products for each category. For mice, they have the recommendations. For headphones, they have the recommendations. For pod plants, they have the recommendations. You get the deal. Did you know, friends and friendettes, that they also have recommendations for clown costumes? Yes, indeed. As I was looking for my costumes, you know, for back to clown school shopping next year, I actually stumbled upon a list of the best clown costumes for all occasions by Ask Men. You heard that right. Ask Men, the men's site focused on helping you become a better man and author of, and I quote, Ask Men presents the Style Bible, the 11 rules for building a complete and timeless wardrobe, compiled this list of the best, the best honk honk clown costumes. It's funny, I never thought a complete and timeless wardrobe would include a clown costume, but I guess I'm ahead of the curve. And what exactly do they mean by all occasions? As far as I'm concerned, there's only two occasions in which a clown costume is appropriate. The first one is when you're entertaining at an event in your clown attire. The second is when you're at a clown's funeral and you want to pay respect to your fallen clownerin. That's brethren, for those of you not in the know, those of you who are not citizens of Clown Town. I went ahead and bought them though, along with a few other pieces to really finish off the look. The first is this, one of 25 piece kit of red circus clown nose, Christmas costume, party cosplay, red nose day, Halloween decor. I got them from the brand Ogremar, because when you think party time, you think of this specter of the night. The second is this clown wig. Now, Amazon was really trying to push me for this one from Love in USA. They even have a full width ad that looks like the introduction to a serial killer's documentary when you look up the phrase clown wig on Amazon, but I wasn't falling for it. I do not trust this man. He's a man of mischief and he cannot be trusted. So instead, I bought this wig from HPO. Now take a look at this man. This man is a good man. I trust and respect him. Just look at those trustworthy poses he's striking. I don't even care that there are no reviews on the actual product. This man's winning smile says everything I need to know about it. Okay, so now onto the costumes themselves. I actually bought a third one, which we'll get to in the end, just because reviewing two costumes doesn't really sound as good as reviewing three of them. So I'm gonna try to rank these actual costumes on a few criteria. So the first one is material, the second is fit, Third is ease of putting on and taking off, just in case you have to reclown or declown at a moment's notice. You never know when the situation might come up. And how clowny I feel. Before we go any further, I think it's only right that I enter the next phase of clown's formation. So what that's gonna be is actually putting on the wig. So let's go ahead and just slide back a little. Put on my clown cap like so. I feel like I'm channeling my big lunch lady energy right now. And then let's get this bath bomb installed. However, this, oh, help, help. I was not expecting that. Help, oh, that's a little street with it. I think we good? Even lined up? Yeah, cool. That's stage two complete. Let's get to the costumes. So the first costume we're gonna start with is the best on a budget option, which is Ruby's costume Haunted House Collection, Dotted Clown Costume. The description says, why wait for Halloween? I can think of several reasons. Also great for stage, kids parties, or one-on-one -on -one playtime year round. Now what exactly do you mean by one-on-one -on -one playtime? Hello, I'm over here now. I just realized I almost robbed you all of the authentic 100% clown experience because even without the costume, I still hadn't gone all the way in preparing properly. So let's go ahead and correct that now. Just excuse me for one moment, gotta just cleanliness first. Now we're talking. Actually, just excuse me a minute, just noticed and didn't, didn't really quite get all the way, right? Gotta, gotta make sure we're nice and clowned up, uh, nice and authentic, nice and rich, just in case you're wondering, is this, is this falsity? No, indeed, that is authentic. That's authentic clown sauce right there. Straight from the, straight from the nose, straight from the circus. Organic, 
I think so, yes, no. Oh boy, oh no. Gotta commit, we've gone too far. Oh Christ. Uh, no, we're going all the way. Now, now, we're talking. All right, here we go. Costume itself. Daughter clown, there's clown sauce in my eyes. It says, includes jumpsuit with ruffled collar, hat. Uh, and then we get item clown wig, white gloves, clown shoes sold separately. Just when I thought we got the bargain of a lifetime, I now understand why it's best in budget. Rubies, y'all need to step your game up. Let me adjust my sniffer real quick. Let's open this bad clown up. As promised, it would appear we got exactly what we paid for. We got hat, which maybe it'll fit. Maybe it'll fit. Oh no, my, my, my face is melting. We have a silly little clown hat, and then we have silly little clown costume. So that's a, that's a tall costume. What? What in wonder? We got ruffles on deck. What's your favorite? Sour cream and onion? No. Clown. Uh, then we got some fun little ruffle fellas in the on the hand. Then we got a few delightful button noses in the front. Oh, what what joy! It's time to try this on. Yes, hello there. I'm fairly far away, but I need to get need to show y'all what actually putting the clown costume on is like. So, figured this is the best angle to do it at. How do I enter my true form? Okay, so we got some strap. We have a strap. Just, uh, just like a Velcro, squ Velcro square. Then we uh, go ahead and step into nothing but the finest silks. I'm already feeling its true power. Let me not tear my true power. Just, it, yep, it's nothing. Effortless, honestly. Effortless, how do I get this from the back? Oh boy, oh boy, hold on. Dude, I mean, fellow clown, how do we are we rocking with this today? Look at this! Look at this! You can't buy drip like this! You can't buy drip like this! Look. Posted? Let's get. Oh, crap. You can't buy drip like this! This is delightful! You got the ruffles? Hold on, check. You got the ruffles? Don't ignore the socks. Got the ruffles, you got the one, two, three, count them. Just ignore, I couldn't get the velcro in the back. Yeah, man. I'm feeling whimsical, feeling clowny. Look at that. You got plenty of room, so if we may speak a little less clowny for a moment here. I'm about 5'7, I'm not a tall person by any means, and I have plenty of room. So maybe if you're 6'5, I wouldn't quite recommend this. This costume, this dotted clown costume, but for the rest of you, get your clown on. Ah, almost forgot, almost forgot. How could I, how could I be so blind? Is this gonna work? Is this gonna, is gonna work? Gonna work? Gonna work? It's not gonna fit, but I'll make it work. What's up? Oh, we're going down. The second clown costume we have today is the most versatile. It's the Form Novelties Spots the Clown costume. Just real quick before we get into it some more. Gotta, gotta do my face up again. Gotta reapply, reapply the drip. The drip drop. This is, you, you may have seen, oh, no, not my snoofer. Nothing but that, please, I only have 24 more. Oh boy, oh clown. Hold on, just. Look, you can't rush perfection. It's like I always say, you need to take time with these things. Now, you need to take time with these things. That was a mistake. All right. Hi, I'm still here. Spots the clown costume includes jumpsuit. Optional accessories, hat, wig, makeup, gloves, horn, socks, clown shoes. This is the standard size. They also have an extra large um, for a chest size 48. Pretty sure I'm not a 48, so we'll be good there. So before I actually re-clown, I have to first de-clown. 
I did say I was going to review this on how easy it'd be to declown. That's how clowns do it, you know what I mean? Yeah, that one review is fine. Fabric's good, fits good, very fun, very clowny. I like that. Now, Spots the Clown, let's. Here I am. Right away, I'm not as big a fan of the material. It's just, it's a little like, you can hear it. It's like a little sheenier, a little less fun, but the color is a lot more whimsical. So, we got more ruffles, but they're not as defined ruffles. They're like, I left it in the salsa for too long ruffles. And instead of Velcro, we have a, we have a knot, which is not, haha, <laughs> which is not ideal. We also got the stuffies, but they're not as like, fluffy and fun. Uh, got foot ruffles though. Peep the range of motion. Let's get, let's go. Let's go. My true form. I'm unveiling my true form. I need to step back. Oh, it might have snapped a little fabric there. All right. Here's the moment of truth. Here's what separates a clown from a frown, friends. Then as soon as I, uh, come on. As soon as I get this done, as soon as I get this tie, tied up, I'm doing my little clown activities, standard clown gauntlet. Yeah, so there's a, there's a little more, there's a little more fabric. There's a lot more fabric. So if, if you're more, more athletic performer, you just wanna, you know, in case there's a kid right over there, and you make eye contact, and they try go getting away from the entertainment, but you wanna get back to them, you can just. Either instantly, you have that range of motion with, uh, with it spots the clown. Yeah, this one's, this one's, this one's all right. Quality. I need to stop. Uh, this one's pretty good. I like the first one more in terms of just fit and material and feeling. But I won't lie, the colors on this one are really kind of rich, really vibrant, and it's just you know, it's just it's it's pretty fun to look like this and do as you please, getting warm. So. Let's, uh, let's keep it moving. And the final costume we're gonna be trying on today is an inflatable one. Surprise costume, bonus costume, even though I paid for it. We've got the Jolly U, seven foot inflatable clown costume, standing on tiptoe. The description says, impressed and funny, you look like a clown. I certainly hope so, that's what I'm paying for. People around you will smile, take pictures, record you, and some will even take picture with you. Not only are people gonna take pictures, but they're even gonna take them with you. People all like it. Not while color phobia exists, uh, they don't. Much fun. You can run, walk, sit, dance, all very easily after you get used to it. Before that point, it's the hardest thing you'll ever do in your life. But after that, not too bad. And great for playing around and making funny videos. Joke's on them, this isn't a funny video. Suit for Halloween, family party, birthday party, graduation ceremony, etc. And third costume we got right here. We have clown costume. He appears to have burnt the nearby forest down because there's nothing left behind him besides a trail of destruction. But they get to the point. What did I buy? Clown costume. There's no, there's no fat on this packaging. So we got some product information. We got. Product information, name, Jolly You Clown Costume, height, seven foot every day in my dreams. Then they also read, kindly notes, requires 4A batteries, not included. I kind of figured that, so I got some. I'll, I'll get them before I try it on. Don't zip up too quickly in case that the zipper gets stuck. You don't want to be trapped as a seven foot clown. If you've seen that Goosebumps book, if you read that book where the mask just, you become the mask. You don't want to become clown costume. No sir, no ma'am. Glasses is deprecated for avoiding fogging. You hear that? In case you wear glasses, not anymore you don't. They've deprecated just for you to avoid fogging. All right, let's get to it. I will stay seated for this one. I won't apply more, more face paint because uh, the dairy is starting to stick to my face and also this one's inflatable and uh, I've been dripping all over my floor. And I rue the fact that I have to clean this up. It's just a box. All right. Twerk it out. We 
got over here. Oh, hello, Nightmare Face. Love to see you. Alright. So, obviously, if you've ever been in one of those inflatable costumes or seen them, you'll kind of know what this feeling is like. It's just like material. Then we have the motor. So, if you'll excuse me, we'll be right back. This is the deal here. Is this like Velcro? Yeah. So. Count, 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 count. Hello. We got, uh, we got to open it up with a screwdriver. Thankfully, I keep about like 10 at all times. We're clown powered up. Make sure to put this back in its specified clown battery pouch. I'm a good boy who follows the rules. Actually, there's a there's actually a belt clip on this, so maybe not. Let's see what we do here. So first, I was gonna I was gonna strip all I was gonna strip my first costume off, but I've always wondered whatever happens when you go double clown mode. Inquiring minds need to know. Another thing inquiring minds need to know is what direction I go in. Yes, I see. So I believe. Oh boy. I believe this. This arm is for the either leave it. Yeah. Leg one. Leg two. This is cursed. This is cursed media. Oh! Oh, that hurt. Am I, am I blind? No, I'm good. This would be a terrible way to find out. I have lactose intolerance. It smells sweet though. Dude, where's my leg hole? There? Where? If not there, then where? I have committed a folly. That is actually my face. This is the leg hole. Yes. Yes! How do I zip it? I gotta zip it from the back. Oh no, I didn't think this through. No, no. I, I'm determined to see this to the end. I see here that we have a bit of a, we have a face hole. So I know you're supposed to be zipped up from the back. So just a, just a shout out to all my fellow, a warning to my fellow, fellow clownies. Uh, have a friend, have another clown, have an enemy, have anyone, just really uh, buddy up with you on this. I should have pockets, I regret having this clown costume on, second one. I'll be right back. Oh, no, no, <laughs> can't see, I'm new. Alright. Um. I'm succumbing my, my physical limits. Oh. Oh, help me. Is this gonna work? Oh, it's very hot in here. Oh, send for help. Alright. Where's the face hell at? Hello. Time for the grand moment. Wait a minute. Let's go. This, am I supposed to have a place to put my arms? Or is this just how I am now? Life is different now. Things are just how it is. So I'm feeling a slight breeze everywhere. I don't know if I'm supposed to have armholes. I don't think I should. I can see nothing through this. So you'll all have to let me know what this is looking like. Let me step back a little bit. If I fall, what is that? Is that couch? Hello, couch. Here it goes. Powering up. Here we go. Getting thicker. Was good. Yup. Unstoppable. Power limit. Is this seven feet? It doesn't feel, I feel like seven feet's taller than this, but I think I still have a way to go. Just, uh, Kinda of hanging out in my little, little bubble dungeon. I think we're good. 
I think this is supposed to be the face. And obviously that's the only one way, this is the only one I'm supposed to see through things. Wonder if you have to peel that off. No, that stays. Wonder if there's like a limit filter. Well, here we go. Incredible clown costume. I will, I have no idea what I'm looking like right now. So I'm just kind of doing what makes sense. Oh, that's desk. That's table. Ooh. Ooh. What's up? Ooh. Hold uh, on, can I see myself in the webcam? Ooh. That's the, like, the doom. Like the worst kind of swap. Ooh. Alright. Sorry, right, what? Well, lost some, lost some clown, sp some clown puff there. I went to repower myself. Alright. Imagine, you're, uh, you're at a ceremony. You're at a graduation ceremony. Well, all of a sudden, from a distance, you hear, Christian Javara, get your degree. Now you see in the peripheral is... Terrifying, absolutely terrifying. So on to the review of this actual clown costume. Let me, let me take a good, good old fashioned clown seat next to my clown lamp. I'm out of breath, I'm terrible. So in terms of material, it's kind of par for the course for this kind of inflatable out outfit, costume. In terms of ease of putting on and getting off, it's terrible. As you can tell, I really had to contort myself into several shapes in order to make it fit. But fun factor, clowniness, it's very high. I really feel like I'm in touch with my inner clown right now. I'll do a little spin for you all, just in, oh, not the lamp. I like this. Do a spin for y'all just so you can get the full view for the most part. Give me some hops. Give me some hops. <laughs> Swallow some face. Give me some hops. That's about it. I uh, like this costume, but it's very hot. It's not practical. It's funny. It's a riot. I can see nothing. I can see no one. So uh, wear this one with caution. You never know where you might end up. The part of the video where I try looking for a way to stop recording. Ready for a sleep paralysis demon? That remote control that. Maybe I should have brought it in the costume with me. Oh no, it's it's an external zipper! Please. I have a fan. I don't have a fan. Help! I'm almost concerned. This costume wasn't like super cheap, so I don't want to like tear into it, but oh no. I just need to need to just get enough. You can see. Hello, hello, it's me, Finger of Clown. If you can see this, send for aid. Uh uh. -uh. We're not the finger of clown is not getting stuck today. If I just wiggle. Wait. I got a little more zip out of that one. Oh dude, this is this is a disaster. Let me just uh oof. Come on. Put the put the put the power pack back in its pouch. And I am fully determined to free myself of this chamber. So yeah, that whole uh I'd like to revise my rating. If you're alone, don't go out with this. If you live by yourself, don't go out with this unless you can get your hands on a on a knife with which to free yourself. But just don't make sure not to bring the knife outdoors because then you look like a big spookaboo clown and uh, it's not good. Dude, I'd almost start panicking if the camera wasn't on. No, we got it. I think if I turn the zipper inside out to face me, I can just start like, yes, 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 it's almost free. It's almost free, Mrs. Clown. Push, push. Hello. Oh, dearie me. Hello, I am back. Took some time, cleaned up my face because uh, starting to feel pretty gross. Stuff dried and it was not a... Not a good skincare regimen. So obviously, tried on all the costumes. You saw what the experience of putting them on, taking them off was like, how clowny I felt. So just figured I'd give some, some final thoughts on all the costumes, kind of rank them, right? So if you couldn't tell by what I'm wearing right now, first place is absolutely actually the budget costume. Uh, again, coming in at around $25, even though it's the most expensive option. 
I think by far it is the most versatile, the most wearable one as far as costumes go. And I just, it, it's, it's pretty classic look, pretty classic clown looks. As far as the aesthetics go, you can really just, uh, you can clown this up, you can clown this down, nice little clown blazer, nice pair of formal clown shoes, if you will. You can, you can do whatever you want, generally. This costume has my favorite fabric. I just, it's not luxurious by any means, but it is very wearable. Now, you can't really tell the quality of fabrics just by rubbing it, but if you just rub this versus uh, my second place choice, which was the Spots the Clown. Let me not tear up Spots the Clown over here. It's a lot louder, and it's just a lot less breathable, a lot less comfortable. I was sweating in this one. I don't really feel like I'd sweat as much in this costume. And, you know, the little plushies are pretty, are much nicer to boot, which is always a delight. So, that being said, in second place we have uh, this costume, I forget his name, Spots the Clown, Dotted the Clown. Uh, it's very colorful, it's very vibrant, it's very eye-catching, but at the same time, it was a lot baggier. Granted, it's because it fits a lot more people, but overall, I felt less comfortable in this one, a little more noise, and I don't like the fact that you have to tie it up in the back. Maybe it's more secure, but as a clown, I'm thinking ease of use, ease of getting in and out. This one, I just Velcro it on and off. This one, you might need a helping hand. But speaking of helping hands, we have our third place. I don't want to say winner, but we have our third place option. We have our inflatable clown costume. Just a uh, clown costume, actually, is its name. Uh, that costume, it it's the most dynamic one by far. I would say it's the most exciting, the most like, whoa, check it out. But it's almost borderline dangerous. I would not suggest buying that costume to wear outdoors at night or maybe outdoors in general. Like I'd mentioned, I could see very I could see very poorly out of that. Maybe if there's a way to clear up the 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 screen panel, the the windowing, it might be a little a little easier to see out of, but in general, it's it's pretty hard to breathe in. It's a little stuffy. And any exaggerated movements do deflate the costume. Granted, I think it's all inflatable costumes, but it is a little exci less exciting if you do something like whoa and you need, you know, five to ten seconds to get to get get your clown back on, get your, get get your clown back on. So it's fun, but just like T-Rex costumes, it's not for everyone and it's not for every occasion. I can wear this 24/7, day or night. I can wear the other one day and night, 24 seven. The inflatable one, not as much. It does take four AA batteries and it's just overall a bit cumbersome. But I'm going to be keeping the costumes because I think they all have their purpose and they're all still wildly fun regardless of what I said. And I like the, I like, I like this, I like doing this in multiple colors. But that being said, I really hope you enjoyed the video this one was a lot of fun to make, and if you liked the video, watch it again. But apart from that, I'll see you next time. Bye.